Okay, let's make a slope field for this differential equation. Let's start at the origin, at the point 0, 0. We need to figure out what the slope of the tangent line approximation to the curve would be at the point 0, 0. To do that, we take 0, plug it into this x-coordinate, and this 0, plug it into the y-coordinate. So at the point 0, 0, y prime, which is dy dx, is equal to 0 squared minus 0 squared, and that's equal to 0. So that means that the tangent line segment at the point 0, 0 should have a slope of 0, i.e. it should be horizontal. So we draw a little horizontal segment right there. Okay, let's now go to the point 0, 1. Again, y prime is equal to 0 squared minus 1 squared because y prime is dy dx and it's x squared minus y squared. So 0 squared minus 1 squared is negative 1. So at the point 1, 0, we need to draw a little tangent line segment, a little segment, whose slope is approximately negative 1. So the negative means it should fall from left to right, and the rise should about equal the run. OK, now let's go to the point 0, comma 2. y prime is 0 squared minus 2 squared, so that's negative 4. Again, we're just going to approximate. At the point 0, comma 3, the x-coordinate is 0. So we get 0 squared minus the y-coordinate squared, and that's negative 9. Pretty steep. Create some space here. Okay, now let's go to the point 0, comma, negative 1. y prime is equal to 0 squared minus negative 1 squared, so that's equal to 0 minus positive 1, so that's equal to negative 1. So here at this point, we need to have a slope of negative 1 as well. Okay, now let's go to the point 1, comma 1. At 1, comma 1, y prime is equal to 1 squared minus 1 squared. Okay, 1 squared minus 1 squared, so that's equal to 0. So at the point 1, comma 1, we need to have a slope of 0 again. Okay, so here we had, at the point 0, 0, we had a slope of 0. At the point 1, 1, we have a slope of 0. Let's check at the point 2, 2. At the point 2, 2, we have x squared minus y squared, so that's equal to 0 again. In fact, any time the x and the y coordinate is the same, we're going to have a slope of 0. So here at 2, 2, we have a slope of 0. And again, at negative 1, negative 1, we have a slope of 0. Likewise, let's take a look at the point 1, negative 1. At 1, negative 1, x squared is 1, and y squared is 1 as well. So x squared minus squared, y squared is going to be 0. So in fact, any time the magnitude of x and y is the same, we're going to square the negative portion, and that makes it positive. So any time, whether it's positive or negative, if the number portion is the same, x squared minus y squared will be 0. So here, at 1, negative 1, it's going to be 0. Also at negative 1, 1, it's going to be 0. OK, so now let's check at the point 1, comma 0. At this point here, x is 1 and y is 0. So x squared, y squared is 1 minus 0, or 1. At the point 1, comma 2, x is 1, y is 2. 1 squared minus 2 squared is 1 minus 4, and that's negative 3.
Okay, so I think we've done enough work on this now for you guys to get the idea of how you do this. Let's scroll down and see what the slope field would actually look like if we continued to fill in this lattice here. Okay, so this here is the slope field for y prime equals x squared minus y squared. So you notice here along the line y equals x and the line y equals negative x, we have a slope of zero everywhere. And we talked about that earlier. 